what is going on everybody out there it is saturday night i'm here because i'm a warrior i'm training i'm building muscle my gains don't come from the gym they come from the kitchen and they come from sleeping getting rest recovering work hard in the gym come back home eat recover rest i don't fuck around with alcohol no more I might mess around with a few other things every now and then, but hey, who cares? Listen, all right, I'm getting a lot of questions about apps. I want to talk to you all about this because I just talked to you and told you apps are overrated. Well, they are, but all of you still fucking want them, so I'm going to tell you what's up about them. So here's three different facts that you should know before trying to get abs. All right, number one, if you have fat around your midsection, doing a bunch of sit-ups is not going to get rid of that fat. The reason is because there is no way to site remove fat unless you perform surgery and suck that shit out through liposuction. So if you're fat around the midsection, do not go around and try to do a bunch of sit-ups and a bunch of weighted crunches and things like that and think that that fat is going to go away. So that has to go away through either diet or cardio. I'm more of a fan of the diet part. <clears throat> you can, however, if you have a protruding stomach and your, your, your muscular wall is protruding a little bit, you can flatten it out through some core exercises and uh, some of my women who, who had been pregnant beforehand, um, who are my clients, I've definitely done that for them. Um, but if you have a fat midsection, it's not just going to go away um, without diet and cardio. Number two, you need to train your abdominals like you would any other fucking muscle. Okay? Don't go into the gym every day and do freaking 5,000 repetitions of uh, you know, super split crunches and scissor kicks and things like that and think that your abs are going to get any better. No, they are a muscle just like any other muscle in your body. They need, they require resistance training. They require <clears throat> rest and recovery. Uh, and they require proper nutrition in order to grow. So don't just go in there and do your scissor crazy kicks and, and super ninja uh, 5,000 rep uh, abdominal workout. It's, it's just not going to work out. Number three. One of the best ways to get abs is by what? Guess. Can you guess? Lifting weights. Doing squats. Doing deadlifts. Doing compound movements where you're standing. Overhead presses. Great stuff. Overhead squats. Awesome. Kettlebell work. Kettlebell work. Awesome. Right, that kind of stuff is going to help build up your midsection. Right, remember I said they're a muscle, you need to be trained just like any other, and they actually support your entire upper body frame. They support your spine, they support your diaphragm. Now, those of you who do those side bends, yeah, those will thicken your waist. Um, I'm not, I'm not afraid to get, you know, bigger obliques. I have pretty cool obliques but if you are trying to get a smaller waist side bends probably not the smartest thing for you to be doing so those are my three facts about abdominals and all of you with your crazy obsession and fetishes for abdominals now have your answer now let's go put on some fucking muscle because it's the off season and that's what we need to do. Ready? Cool. Hit me up, getting shredded at gmail.com. Facebook me, Instagram me, do what you want. I'm here for you to answer your questions.